Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. A very good day to everyone. Alright. So today is uh, the presented on a topic of our presenting. Presented is on introduction to lamina and tubular group part three, where we discuss more on losses in pipe system. Okay, so in part 2, we have discussed on the heat loss and pressure loss. So, uh, in part 3, we focus on the losses, minor losses in pipe system. Okay, alright. So, minor losses in the pipe system. So, apart from major loss due to friction, there are also other form of losses which are caused by change in internal pipe, internal pipe geometries, and by fitted component. So, as we know that the pipe, normally we have many fitted components, such as valve, such as plungers, and band, and T pipe. So, this type of losses are referred to as minor losses. So, there are four types of minor losses in our uh, our focus today which is a sudden or gradual flow expansion and flow contraction entrance and exit flow to and from reservoir or tank band elbow junction and other fittings valve including those completely open or partially closed okay so that is the normally we consider minor losses in the piping. Alright, so basically the measured minor loss is usually given as a ratio of heat loss, heat loss through the device to the velocity head of the associate piping system. So therefore the loss coefficient we call as KL loss coefficient is your HL divided by velocity head. Okay, so we got this formula. Okay, so normally your loss coefficient KL is dimensionless. So we don't have any units. So often correlated with Reynolds number and also roughness ratio depending on the uh, lamina or Turbulent flow, turbulent flow inside the pipe. So, since all are correlated with the velocity head, velocity head, so they can be summed into a single to total system loss if pipe has constant diameter. So, your total head loss, HL, before this, we only consider the, uh, the major head loss. So, today, we add minor losses, which is HL minor. So, the total is this formula. So, note that we sum these losses separately if the size pipe, pipe size, change so that the velocity is also changed. Okay? The velocity is also changed. The length, L, is the total length of pipe axis okay so this is the example of loss coefficient kl if let's say we have a inlet part pipe inlet so the entrance this we consider the loss coefficient is 0 0.8 whereby if we have a sharp edge we have your loss coefficient kl 0 0.5 if we have a rounded well rounded so your KL will be 0 0.03 okay and pipe exits if we have a re-entrance so your KL is same with the coefficient of kinetic energy factor which is normally we, uh, we consider the coefficient is 2 for a fully developed lamina flow and 1.05 for fully developed turbulent flow. Okay, for a sharp edge, 
is also remain the same and router is also same this is for uh, exit part okay sudden expansion or contraction based on the velocity in the smaller diameter part so if you have a sudden expansion so your uh, loss coefficient kl is uh, we use this formula depending on the diameter and also the coefficient of kinetic energy and also for sudden contraction okay this sudden expansion sudden contraction <laughs> right so for gradual expansion and contraction so normally we call it this as a reducer for a piping system if you go to hardware if you want to reduce from a certain certain diameter part so that is the reducer so uh, x this is reducer something expansor expansion <coughs> this we call it as a reducer re reducer okay so in this uh, topic we call it as a expansion so depend on the uh, diameter diameter and also the angle of the expansion so the loss coefficient is also vary and for contraction also depend on the diameter uh, bigger diameter and smaller diameter and also the uh, angle of uh, contraction so the loss coefficient is also vary depending on the angle Okay. Alright. So this is for example of bend and also branches. So if you have a 90 90 degree smooth bend, so your KL loss coefficient is 0 0.3. If it in the thread, this is for flange, for thread is 0 0.9. So if you have a meter bend without round round, so the loss coefficient is 1.1. Okay. so for with veins veins this is without veins <coughs> so we have your kl loss coefficient is 0 0.2 the same diameter sorry the same line with the diameter this is much larger diameter so if you have 45 degree so your loss coefficient is 0 0.4 this is 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree and if you have a written band 180 degree so your kl loss coefficient is 0 0.2 for threaded 1.5 if you have a t so your uh, kl will be 1.0 for flanges for thread is 2.0 for t line flow this is a branch flow this is line flow line flow so your flange loss coefficient for flange is 0 0.2 for thread is 0 0.9 if you have a trade union this is a uh, where your you want to extend the pipe so if you use a trade union so your uh, kl the loss friction is 0 0.08 and this is some of the example for valve either globe valve, angle valve, ball valve, check valve, gate valve okay right so, sample problem 5.10 okay so sample problem 5.10 a 6 cm diameter horizontal water pipe expand gradually to a 9 cm diameter pipe as in the figure with the loss coefficient KL of 0 0.133 the mean velocity and pressure of water before the expansion section are 7 m per second and 150 kPa respectively determine the head loss in the expansion section and B the pressure in the larger diameter pipe and given directly the 
constant kinetic energy correction factor is 1.06 ok so sample problem 510 ok so basically here we have an expansion ok so this is your inlet this is your outlet so this is your point 1 this is your point 2 ok so given directly the diameter diameter 1 d1 is 6 cm is equivalent to 0 0.06 meter and d2 diameter 2 is 9 cm is equivalent to 0 0.09 meter okay and what else oh okay the velocity average velocity velocity average is 7 meter per second and also the uh, what else pressure 1 d1 the inlet uh, inlet pressure 150 kPa and also given directly your minor losses 0.133 Okay, and knowing that the fluid is a water, therefore your density normally we assume at 1000 kg per meter cube. Okay, so A, heat loss in the heat loss in the expansion. Okay, so H loss minor okay, is K, okay, your losses, minor losses, V average, okay, power of 2 minus as uh, divided by 2G. So then the H loss in the expansion section is calculated based on the initial average velocity so we can get here okay, uh, 0 0.133 times average 7 meter second power of 2 2 times 9.81 meter per second square Okay. All right. So we have uh, meter per second to power of two, one, one, one. Okay. So we have a unit of meter. So the answer would be zero point three three two meter. Okay. So we got the head loss in the expansion section. Okay. So B pressure in the pressure in larger diameter P two P two okay so by using general equation general equation so P one over rho G plus alpha one V average okay average to the power of 2 to G plus Z1 plus head pump is equivalent to P2 rho G plus alpha 2 V average power of 2 to G plus Z2 plus HL okay so this is your general equation so we take out the the unnecessary item okay so basically we want to know the pressure so the pressure here is we keep also the uh, constant kinetic 
energy correction factor is a given so it's still here so the only thing that we we will take an out is your uh, potential energy and also no heat pump sorry this is h turbine plus hl so h turbine also we take out okay so only p1 p g the kinetic energy pressure kinetic energy and heat okay so here uh, we don't know the uh, average uh, we have the vlog uh, general equation we have done and basically the velocity at this is the v average but the velocity at here is not the same at velocity initial so velocity average average one so this is your velocity average two okay so given in the question is this is a at one the inlet so at two is not given so you we need to determine first what is the velocity of water at point two so from here we can determine by using the mass flow rate knowing that inlet and outlet remain the same for the expansion so the inlet the outlet one and two so m dot one and m dot two okay m dot one is m dot two remain the same mass flow rate is remain the same because we assume no leaking in the pipe pipe so m m dot is rho a v density area area and the velocity okay so substitute into your jet in the density remain the same as water to water so area area one velocity one is equal to rho area two because the area is not is difference and also v2 okay so the area here we can uh, cancel out so we can simplify thus v2 is v1 okay d1 over d2 we cancel out cancel out okay area pi d square over 4 pi d square pi also we cancel out okay d was only the uh, difference so from here we can calculate 7 meter per second time uh, sorry d, d2 cos 2 uh, we cancel out pi d pi over 2 over 4 so we cancel out the remaining only the d to the power of 2 so 0 0.06 meter 0 0.09 meter square so v2 is 3.11 meter per second meter is cancel out okay so using the general equation from general equation general equation e equation so we have p2 is p1 we have simplified rho alpha 1 v 1 to the power of 2 minus alpha 2 v 2 minus a divided by 2 to this is 
this equation is from this equation we simplify okay so minus g h r okay so p2 is 150 thousand kg this is kpa we convert into uh, pascal so 150 kilo pascal so 150 times 10 to the power of 3 kilo we convert into uh, kilo pascal convert into pascal so kg over meter dot second square plus rho thousand kg per meter cube 1.06 the alpha <laughs> times 7 meter per second square okay and minus 1.06 3.11 1 meter per second square over 2 minus g uh, 9.81 meet 9.81 meter per second square times 0 0.333 the hit meter okay so we calculate okay so we got p2 1675868867 kg per meter dot second square or pascal so simplified p2 we got 168kpa kilopascal so this is your answers for b all right okay thank you sample problem 5.11 okay sample problem 5.11 Water is to be withdrawn from a 3 meter high water reservoir by drilling a 1.5 centimeter diameter hole at the bottom surface. Determine the flow rate of water through the hole if A. The entrance of the hole is well rounded, given directly the uh, KL is 0.03. And the end B, the entrance is sharp edge, where KL is equals to 0 0.5. Okay, 5.11. So we have a reservoir. Okay, we have a hole. Okay, so the height is this is your water height is around uh, 3 meter directly in the given in the questions and the hole is 1.5 centimeter diameter okay <coughs> and determine the a water so determine the a V dot. Okay, so the flow rate <coughs> of water through the hole can be calculated <coughs> based on the volume, volume flow rate. So we have volume flow rate is a area of the of the hole times your V average velocity. Okay. 
so this is the for it the 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 task is to find your uh, the flow rate firstly we need to know the uh, uh, velocity velocity is not directly given so from here we can use a Bernoulli equation general equation Bernoulli Bernoulli equation equation that is it general equation okay so the general equation will be p1 over rho g plus uh, alpha v average v1 v average 1 to the power of 2 to g plus z1 plus h pump head pump is equal to p2 over rho g plus alpha 2 v2 power of 2 to g plus z2 z2 plus h turbine plus hl okay so this is your general equation so we take out the uh sum take out the unnecessary based on our assumption so here as the 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 the, the question is at open surface so which means that the pressure is the main the same at the inlet and the outlet so we assume this is your outlet okay this is your inlet okay so because it's open at atmosphere condition so basically uh, the pressure and pressure too is remain the same because it's in the uh, atmosphere condition so we take out the pressure and assume also there is no kinetic energy okay so uh, we take out also okay from here we don't have any kinetic energy because it's uh, slow moving z1 uh, we have z1 because it has height 3m we don't have any pump take out pump okay rho 2 also uh, p2 pressure 2 is assumed at open atmosphere condition so we take out okay so here we have so assuming the uh, the alpha okay so the alpha uh, is the same with kinetic energy same we take out also so only available velocity divided by 2g we see the power of 2 okay z2 we assume at a datum so this is our reference so take out it means zero datum this is our reference so this is your z2 so this is your z1 so z2 is a datum datum is a at your point normally we assume at zero height at, at ground at zero height no turbine involved take out only hl okay so all right so left out is z1 is equal to v2 of 2 to g plus hl okay so and hl head loss is okay head loss i mean uh, v uh, average power of 2 to g so this is the uh, head loss for minor losses okay so then we substitute minor losses this hr minor losses into the general equation so we got therefore z1 is equal to v2 of 2 2g plus kl uh, v 
average average of two two g okay so assume this is the this is also the average value at two this is average value at the outlet so it's remain the same this is the same eh? so v2 is same with v average two same so we can take out you can rearrange the equation so v average two is equal to z1 2g over 1 plus kn okay all right okay from this equation we can substitute into the general equation here okay so this equation the velocity average at 2 at 2 is at the outlet at the outlet here so we can determine the volume flow rate so substitute v v dot volume flow rate a c v a average 2 we got pi d whole whole okay of 2 divided by 4 times v average we got 2 g z1 over 1 plus kl okay so that is your final general equation and put in value so a at kl given directly is 0 0.5 so v dot is pi this is your pi okay 0 0.015 meter square over 4 square time 2 9.81 meter per second square 3 meter z1 is 3 meter okay 1 plus divided by 1 plus kl given directly 0 0.5 okay so we have 1.107 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube per second so the volume flow rate of water will reduce when using the sub uh, so 0. sorry this is 0. 0.5 this is 0. Point, the first is 0. 0.03 sorry 0. 0.03 so sorry 1.336 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube per second okay and for B your K uh, the friction is 0 0.5 ah, okay so V dot just substitute into this equation so we got 1.107 times 10 to the power of minus 3 take you over sec okay <coughs> right okay so the volume flow rate of water we reduce you can see the reduce reduction when using the sharp edge hole as KL 0 0.5 compared to your KL is 0 0.03 hence required more pumping power if we wanted to maintain the same volume flow rate as well-rounded hole okay all right thank you all right so this is the uh, piping network or multi-pipe system if let's say we have uh, something like this 
this is a series. Okay, so most piping system encounter a intact disk such as the water distribution system in cities or commercial or residential establishment involve numerous parallel and series connection as well as several source depend on the supply of fluid into the system and also the load discharge of fluid from the system. So piping system typically involve several pipes connected to each other in series or in parallel as shown in the figure. So this is the series. This is in terms of parallel. So in series part, the flow rate through the entire system remain constant regardless of the diameter of the individual pipes in the system. The flow rate. Q, the flow rate. Okay. The total head loss in this case is equal to the sum of the head loss in individual pipes of the system, including the minor losses. In parallel pipes, the total flow rate is the sum of the flow rates in the individual pipe. Also, the pressure drop or head loss in each individual pipe connected in parallel must be the same since your difference in pressure is PA minus PB, A inlet, min, uh, inlet minus outlet, and the junction pressure, A and PB, are the same for all of the individual pipes. A in the parallel, A and B. Okay. So, your volume is V1 plus V2. Plus T. Okay. Whereas for this series, V A is equal to V dot B. So that is the difference. This is the main same. And here is V at. Okay. Let's see another example. In series, let's say if you have three series. So the flow rate Q, Q1, Q2 and Q3 constant. It means the same. Okay. But for parallel, Q1 and Q2, Q3. So, if you want to know the flow rate, so we need to sum up, sum all of the total flow rate. So, the Q total, flow rate total, will be Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. The head loss is the same. Head loss total is H loss from A to B. H1, head loss 1, same with HL2, is the same with H3. For series, your head loss is the sum, total sum, which is HL total, head loss total, is HL1 plus HL2 and HL3 plus. So this is the difference. So the flow rate is same, but the head loss you need to add up. So for parallel, the flow rate you need to add up, but the head loss is same. Okay, same. Same example as slide before. Okay, let's say if you have a, if we have a multiple pipe loop system. So, here is we have a flow rate Q1. So, we have Q2 and Q3. So, the total Q1 would be the sum of Q2 plus Q3. But, for the head loss, head loss total would be HL1 plus HL2. Okay. So, is same with HL1 with HL3 because we have a branch 1 and branch 3. Okay, so it's a combination of series and parallel. Okay, so this total head loss will put in the Bernoulli equation in general equation. Sample problem 5.12. Okay, 
Sample problem 5.12. Water at 10 degrees Celsius and given the parameter, the rho and the mu given directly in the question. Okay. Flow from a large reservoir to a small one through a 5 cm diameter cast iron. So given also the roughness is 0 0.00026 meter so here when it given directly the material of the uh, reservoir we can assume is a turbulence so prepare a uh, moody chart okay so given the diameter of the piping system is cast iron Okay, as shown in the figure, so determine the elevation Z1 for a flow rate of 6 liter per second. Okay, so 5.12. Okay, alright. So, this is your reservoir. So, we have the connection from, and then we have a band until at the bottom to the another reservoir small reservoir sorry small reservoir okay all right so given the diameter d is 5 cm is equal to 0 0.00 sorry 0 0.05 meter Okay, and the, the angle, the KL also given, the KL given, okay, this is 0 0.3, this is same, 0 0.3, okay, we have a gate valve, gate valve here, gate valve, so the K, the resistance KL is 0 0.2. Z2 is 4 meter okay so Z1 we don't know okay uh, so the exit exit K1 KL exit is also given is equals to uh, 1 okay alright so the Elevate the, the question is determine the elevation, the elevation of Z1 to be determined. So, from Bernoulli equation is a, our general equation. So, we have P1 over rho G plus alpha 1 V1 of 2, 2 G plus Z1 H pump is equal to. P2 over rho G plus alpha 2 V2 over 2G plus Z2 plus H turbine plus HL. Okay. Alright. So, the fluid at both state is open to the atmosphere. So, we can cancel out the pressure right okay so the part is series so then the flow rate is constant so v1 and v2 is constant series it's not parallel okay and then the fluid is exposed to atmosphere we assume velocity is slower so velocity we consider as zero okay we don't have any h pump H turbine also we don't have so left out is only uh, Z1, Z2 and HL so we got Z1 is equal to Z2 plus HL head loss ok so and knowing that your H head loss is head loss major plus Head loss minor. 
so minus okay so it's equal to f so fiction here we need a moody chart l over d v average over 2g this is power of 2 plus summation of kl v average of 2 divided by 2g so hl total dot total so we rearrange so uh, f l over d plus summation of k l is v average two over two g okay so this is your so our task is firstly to determine because we need we need a, a friction factor here so we need a velocity and also we need a run out at least we should confirm is a turbulence so we need a velocity we need a velocity and we need a friction in order to confirm that the flow is lamina or turbulence so v average v dot over area okay so we got uh, 0 0.006 meter cube per second is given directly in the question which is 6 liter per second you need to convert into meter cube per second divided by the area pi 0 0.05 diameter okay of 2 4 okay so here we got 3.06 meter per second okay so we have the velocity thus from this velocity we can determine the Reynolds number Reynolds we need Reynolds value in order to read the Moody chart so rho v d over mu ok so substitute the rho given directly in the question which is 999999.7 kg per meter cube times the velocity uh, 3.06 meter per second times diameter 0 0.05 meter ok divided by mu 1.307 times 10 to the power of minus 3 kg per meter second this is a unitless so calculate so we got 117026.85 so as your runout number is big, bigger than 4000 is a turbulent okay right so from moody chart the roughness given uh, is 0 0.00026 and roughness relative factor roughness relative factor over d roughness Okay, so 0 0.00260, 0, okay, divided by uh, 0 0.05 meter, so we got 0 0.0052, okay, so this figure we can refer to uh, with Reynolds number, and this figure to, we can refer to Moody chart, Moody chart. So from Moody chart, you can find that your friction factor is around around near to 0 0.031, somewhere within this value. If you got 
uh, 0.030 is also correct okay because it's a uh, chart reading it's, it's not the absolute value okay so we have the friction and then uh, from your general equation what else so we have friction L and D also we got so the submission of losses minor losses so submission of minor losses then submission of KL is uh, 0 0.5 plus uh, we got two 0 0.3 at the elbow 0 0.3 times 2 okay at valve 0 0.2 at exit is 1.0 okay so total is 2.3 okay then substitute into the general equation h total hl total is okay uh, f l over d plus summation of kl v average to the power of 2 minus 2g okay 0 0.031 l 89 meter d 0 0.05 meter plus submission of minor losses 2.3 okay times v average 3.06 3 point power of 2 okay so this is v average v average okay divided by 2 times 9.81 okay so we got h total 27.46 meter okay all right okay so we got the total then from h total substitute into your general equation so we get h total z1 also we have hl this is hl total <coughs> total so we can get your z1 so z1 z2 plus hl total so we got 4 meter plus 27.46 meter so we got 31.46 meter okay right thank you sample problem 5.13 okay sample problem 5.13 water okay so the density and the mu given directly is pumped between two reservoir at 0 0.00566 meter cube per second through 122 meter of 5 centimeter diameter pipe and several minor losses given in the picture in the figure as shown in the figure so the reference ratio is 0 0.0 0 0.001 compute the pump horsepower required okay so this example is much more uh, near to reality uh, problem because uh, for, for this example normally is uh, we we need the pump power for a fact sorry for a story building normally the incoming pipe from shabas is at the uh, ground surface so we need to move up move the water up to the highest level of the uh, building we have a storage tank there so normally uh, we need to calculate what is the pump horsepower required okay so uh, 
4.3 okay so we have a ground ground level tank reservoir okay and then we have a, a valve okay and then we have a pump okay so normally for pump this is your outlet the, the higher level here is your outlet so then we have elbow okay elbow again and then we have a valve until the reservoir the upper reservoir okay so the valve here k is 2.5 the elbow k is 0 0.05 both the band below k is 0.25 the pump the above globe valve below is 5 and the restriction here we got kl is uh, 0 0.5 and at the entrance here also we got KL is 1 okay so this is your pump okay so pump required the pumping required so work pump is v dot rho g h pump rho g h hit for a pump so the h pump is determined from general equation Bernoulli equation Bernoulli equation general equation so p1 over rho g okay plus alpha 1 v1 over 2g the power of 2 plus z1 plus h pump is equal to p2 over rho g plus alpha 2 v2 of 2 2g plus z2 plus h turbine if any plus hl okay so s is at a open so assume no pressure and no kinetic energy involved at the bottom because it's uh, open to atmosphere and also at the uh, upper tank okay so we have elevation z1 so z1 z1 here and this is your z2 Okay, so we got Z1, Z2. Okay, H turbine, we neglect. Yeah, HL we have. So HL is here, is HL total because involving many bending and valve. Okay, so from this general equation, we can simplify. So H pump is z2 minus z1 plus hl total okay all right so firstly as hl total is your uh, f l over d plus summation of kl we average of 2 to g okay so we need velocity average because we need to determine the value of Reynolds number so Reynolds number we can use to as a reference in Moody chart because uh, we need to determine first the uh, either either lamina or turbulence okay and if let's say it's lamina so we don't uh, need to refer to Moody chart but if it's turbulent so we need to refer to Moody chart because here 
at the question the roughness ratio is being given directly so which mean that normally is a turbulence so we require a moody chart okay so first we determine the velocity average v average is v dot over a area so area of a part 0.00566 okay meter cube per second square over pi 0 0.05 meter square over 4 so we got 2.882 meter per second okay so we got the plus t first okay then we determine the Reynolds number okay Reynolds number rho v d over mu okay so here we got 9 uh, given directly 998 given directly from the equation times velocity we calculate before 2.882 times diameter 0 0.05 mu 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 okay so we got another number 143,811 0.8 so bigger than 4000 is a turbulence so we need to refer a body chart okay so the roughness uh, roughness ratio roughness ratio is being given directly from the uh, question is 0 0.001 okay so we have a Reynolds number we have roughness ratio then we can refer to Moody chart so we can determine the friction 0 0.015 okay somewhere within this figure okay uh, so uh, near to this figure is a is a chart uh, reading so basically uh, near to this value is we consider right okay okay so from with here we have the uh, friction so the task from this general equation so the task is to determine the minor losses okay so minor losses okay Submission of KL. So we got uh, from the entrance, entrance we got 0 0.5 at valve, 5 globe valve, okay, and we got at band. The first band is 0 0.25, okay, at the upper band we got 0 0.95, and also at valve globe valve 2.5 and lastly at the exit one okay at the exit one so sum up so we got 10.2 okay so we can determine the total heat loss hl thought okay so f l over d plus submission of KL V average over 2 2G okay so 0, 0.0 the F 215 times L the length 122 22 over the diameter 0 0.05 Okay, plus submission of KL 10.2. Okay, the velocity uh, 2.882 power of 2 divided by 2 times 9.81. Okay, 
okay so we got 26.53 meter okay so we got the HL total so HL total we got so, from the general equation we have so, uh, so Z2 given directly in the question Z1 so we can determine the H pump the head of the pump okay so H pump Z2 minus Z1 plus HL tot total okay so 36 minus 6 plus HL total 26.53 meter meter so total is 56.53 meter okay so we have the H pump so substitute into the general equation here H pump so we got the uh, pump required okay so work pump is v dot rho g h pump okay so v dot 0 0.00566 okay times rho 998 times gravity 9.81 times the h pump 56.53 okay so we got 3132.53 okay so kg per second squared meet dot meter squared over okay. so this is a watt watt okay so is a watt the question is the pump horsepower so one horsepower is seven five four point seven watt okay so work pump is three one three two point five three watt times one horsepower divided by seven four five point seven watt so what what Okay, so 3000 divided by 700 something. So we got 4.2 horsepower. Okay. Alright, thank you.